Well, our continuing coverage of the Total Energies World Championships is unfurling our pace. We're now on to our fifth match upcoming in the Carolina Marin Stadium. And it's an all-seeded Japanese mixed doubles repeat of the All England Open final contested nine months ago, featuring the third seed, Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino. And in their way for a semi-final spot on the 13th seeds, Kaneko and Matsumoto. So you see, down to two courts right now, and this is what we've brought you so far. I won't wade through it all, but it's this one up next. Second, mixed doubles, and uh, one of six Japanese pairs on uh, display on quarterfinals Friday or two of them I should say, Watanabe and Higashino take on Kaneko and Matsumoto, the 13th seeds. Well that match in front of you there is uh, on show court one, just adjacent to us on two and it's uh, unfurling between Anse Young and Akane Yamaguchi. This is the draw sheet and as you can see it's uh, filled in the very bottom of the draw we're turning our attention to the second quarter of the mixed doubles draw sheet. Here come Watanabe and Higashino as the third seeds in this one, followed out by the 13th seeds, Kaneko and Matsutoma. Well, they've had uh, a couple of good wins, Watanabe and Higashino, so far, against the Russian pairing, fairly academic, 10 and 8, that was in 28 minutes on show court one, and then Tan and Lei of Malaysia yesterday, 19 and 19 in 49 minutes. Here's their head-to-head, -head. that was the last meeting at the All England Open. Black, black, Final. Okay. Black, can you? You receive? Outside? Okay, thank you. Yeah, so this one a repeat of that March final just nine months ago. We will find a way through today to the semi final. Into Watanabe, 24 years of age, so fast on his feet, so sprightly, and what a drop shot he has. 1m65, not the tallest of men, but these two were ranked just one spot off their career high, which was three when they were there for 56 weeks. Always great, always fun to watch, isn't he, Utah? Never a dull moment with his foot speed, hand speed. He's electric, as is uh, Arisa Higashino as well. Just a year older from Hokkaido, as many players are. Semi finals in the Olympics, of course, these two. And, uh, well, they've had a good run of it, haven't they? Runners up at the World Tour Finals, runners up at the Indonesia Open, and semi finalists, Indonesia Masters, won the French Open and the Victor Denmark Open as well. And their results so far, as I mentioned, as they entered the court, took out a, a couple of uh, Russians who were in the twilight of their career. Doremon, I think, I think he's about 40 years old, isn't he? Yeah, so that was a, a good win. And then the Malaysians as well. So it's all been pretty academic for them, really, en route. Yuki Kaneko, the only left-hander on the court. Beg your pardon, other than Yuta. 27 years of age from Setama in Japan playing off a world ranking of 18 and the 29 year old just opposite Mizaki Matsumoto Matsutomo, beg your pardon. Got to get that right.
Fabio Lopez, familiar face in the chair. Harriet Natabi. Yeah, so Koneko and Matsutomo with a win over uh, Heming and Pugh, and also Jiquel and Del Rue from France. That was yesterday, 15 and 16. 48 minutes needed there to beat the French, and just 34 minutes to beat the English, Heming and Pugh. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Yuta Watanabe in Arisa Higashino, Japan. And on my left, Yuki Kaneko in Isaki Matsutomo, Japan. Arisa Higashino said to Yuki Kaneko, Love all play. Okay, she wants to challenge immediately. Arisa well, how about Higashino that? <laughs> Literally within the first minute. Arisa Higashino has pulled the challenge. Here we go then, going upstairs for the first time in the match. Let's find out. Did the serve land or not? Everybody's seeing the funny side of it. Momentarily, anyway. Yes, it did. Great challenge. She'll be pleased with that. One love. Well, already he's uh, showing his trump Two card, isn't love. he? Yuta Watanabe. Never tire of watching that, but these guys will be familiar. Just missed. Four, three. Good pass. Well, they took the trip to Bali as well, these two, but didn't have any success, really. Lost in the first round of the Indonesia Open as well as the Indonesia Masters. A complete contrast to uh, the higher rank seats here. And they haven't really been able to... I'm talking about Kaneko and... Matsutomo, unable to really replicate that form that they produced in Birmingham in England in the All England Open in March. Not quite been in the same kind of deep runs thereafter, really. Round of 16 of the uh, French Open. 
prior to that all england showing quarterfinals of the hong kong open as well but that was way back in 2019 so it almost seems irrelevant so today is a massive opportunity particularly for the hair in blue oh well that's bossy play from the third seed watanabe higashino all over that Reading the plays nicely right now. Six, all. Too much pace. Yeah, it just got behind her, didn't it? Just managed to tip it, that was it. Well, opening exchanges here, really encouraging for Kaneko and Atsutomo. Well, that might have been going wide, you know. But he's played it anyway. And another shuttle rifles through to Matsutomo. Yeah, when you look at their uh, world tour endeavour over the year, Watanabe Higashino have won 33 matches, lost just four on tour. These two, six won, five lost. Pales into insignificance, doesn't it? Over five times the number of wins on the world tour this year for the pair at the top of your picture. They've been incredible. Just missed it. Then sober. Nine. Eight. Now Kaneko and uh, Matsutomo weathering quite a storm here. This is really uh, encouraging for them. Leading on the scoreboard. Oh, that service error won't sober. help. Oh yes, so keen to intercept, and the timing of that interception was just bang on from Arisa Higashino. Watanabe, of course, setting her up so nicely with that. And then the kill. Nine, 
So it's Watanabe Higashino as the third seeds in this mixed double event that uh, just head to a very slender lead of two points, 11-9. keep on the front foot now these two and keep danger at bay mm, radar off a little there Well, a battle of the uh, left-handers there, wasn't it, with all of the male searing power. 13, 10. Testosterone kicking in. <laughs> and Watanabe having the last laugh. It's become a familiar look in mixed doubles, hasn't it? On our screens over the years, that. Watanabe's bossiness. In a few service errors, though. Strings gone. Lost control. Because he looked all over it, didn't he? I mean, he's got ghostly foot speed. Interception. Got up there so quickly. look isn't it the dynamics of these two and their speed is just just all over this aren't they and you just see the the blue pairing in defense more often than not but you know credit to them they're doing very well to stay this close to Watanabe and Higashino who are a standout pair on tour these days
He's found it. It wasn't the cleanest of hits, and I think it's dropped in, but it's been challenged. Fabio with his left arm in the air, as if to say, come on then, let's get this one going for the challenge. Let's have a look. Did they find the back line or not? It wasn't the best of contacts from Misaki. Oh, it has spilt over the back. So, a five-point buffer for Watanabe and Higashino. Oh, yes. They've just been tireless, these two, haven't they? With the volume of match prey that they've contested. They still seem just as quick. She's only in the net right now, Higashino, doing a really good job in the front court. She's won the battle more often than not. Eight game points for the third seed. Defenses from the thirteenth seeds. Oh, confusion there. Bit of a clash. Yours moment. Fourteen twenty. But still, they've got. Uh, Enough cushion you sense to probably be able to cross the line in this opener. Higashino having the last laugh in the front court, doing a spectacular job. Watanabe setting her up beautifully. They take the opening game, 21 points to 14 after 17 minutes. So all the players back for game two. Second game, lot of 
play. Saki unhappy with herself there. They had the upper hand, and it was a heavy smash prior from Yuki Kaneko to set her up. Defense is incredible point. Still, the shuttle came back. Uh, this is what makes it so fascinating, doesn't it? When you've got two Japanese pairs going toe to toe with immaculate defenses and just so hard to kill the shuttle. And great to watch. Treated to some really long extended rallies. Look at that, longest of the match. 60 shots, that one. unhappy because he thinks that his opponents have sort of tweaked that call their way. shots that one and in the end Larissa Higashina managing to steady the ship but to no avail in the end
Over. Four. Three. Another punishing point. A tonic to the winners of it and a wounder to the losers of it. Just a little Eight, bit too quick. points at five for the third seeds. A lot of these points very hard earned. so much variety as he always does he's so quick thinking isn't he ghostly speed and Arissa has been just winning most of the front court battle oh that's fantastic change up from Yuki Kaneko really good look at that to get it done even Watanabe could get there, or do enough enough with it, I should say. It's a wonderful return, pouncing all over that so quickly.
bounce that defence from Arisa Higashino. What a turnaround. Lovely. Flat hard forehand to get it done. 11 5. They head to the interval. Even bossier than the opening game. They're finding it increasingly tough to live with the quality that the third seeds are bringing. Can I call Matsutoma? Understandably, it's been a very high bar they've set today. These two with their backs to us in orange and white. It was 9 all when they broke away in the opening game. They broke from 3 all in the opening game. In third seats, they're just getting better and better, and they're playing really in your face badminton in the nicest possible way. It's been very, very high level. Well done, really good. That is over. From uh, Izaki Atsutomo. rotating around each other so fluidly here it's just very impressive but the blue pair struggling to put the shuttle away against the immaculate defenses of Watanabe and Higashino but that was good well done Eight, but there's still six points adrift on the scoreboard find a way back into this second game. A must winner for them if they're to uh, extend their stay to the weekend. haven't they against their compatriots leaving nothing to chance brilliant lovely cross smash from Yuki Terrific. 
Perfect. Well, full length dive to no avail. But, uh, not for lack of trying. Thank you. Straining every sinew to make that extra shuttle, ask an extra question. now because these two have won five out of the last six points. Mm, brilliant. And suddenly you sense that Misaki Matsutomo is that a little bit more relaxed around the net now, trusting herself more and coming up trumps. Started to read the play a little more, looks far more focused. Still eyed gaze. Uh, 13, 15. Right, 15 to 13, 15. to Watanabe and he knows it he is just roaring with delight after that point <laughs> smiles all around I think he was appreciative wasn't he Yuki there of just how good that was wow almost the face plant mercifully he's okay that was just so quick Just a little too greedy. Want to finish with a flourish. And, uh, well, Yuki Kaneko might have had it anyway had it cleared the net. There was a real determination there from the uh, ranking underdogs. And it's all top 20, all seeded Japanese mixed doubles clash. Now that court will need a wipe, there's no doubting that. Fourteen, sixteen. 
Good leave. It's gone. And they're setting sail for home right now. That's why they're smiling so much, you fancy. Three points from victory. Watanabe and Higashino. The face of focus. That's a Tormo. Another big 14. point rolls their way. And suddenly, since the top half of that draw has really opened up in the absence now of Zhang and Huang from China, the top seeds having gone out to Alimov and Davlatova, beg your pardon, to Chan and Ng, who lost to the Russian pairing. So it's all up for grabs up there. That's why if these two can come through, they know it could be very fruitful in the grand scheme of things. Overcooked it. 16, roar isn't it so meaningful and they've had a lot of fun out here today these two and they'll be delighted like they did in the all england open final back in march nine months or so ago to put this match to bed in straight games against this very tough much improved japanese pairing of kaneko and matsutomo four match points Another good point from the ranking underdogs, Kaneko and Matsutomo. And he's got his serving advantage as well.
should pay a heavy price for that miss. Match points slipping through their fingertips. That's three now that have come and gone. from Yuta Watanabe, absolutely relieved. Very dramatic. And the highest ranked seeds in the top half favoured to come through. Punch their ticket to tomorrow's semi-final. That is a really emphatic victory. And you can see from the reaction what it meant. Watanabe and Higashino is the third seeds in the mixed doubles come through in the second quarter of the draw. 21-14, 21-19, after 45 minutes exactly. And, uh, well, that was quite a reaction, wasn't it, from Yuta Watanabe there. A utter relief. This is the match point that just spilt along over the back line, but look at this. <laughs> in the all Japanese clash he must have been feeling quite a lot of pressure throughout that but they down the world number 18s and the world number 4 pairing go through to the semi-finals that was really watchable wasn't it well continuing with the all Japanese thing we've got men's doubles quarter final up next this one will be bringing you just after a very short break. Don't go anywhere. big thank you to Paul Hand today. A pleasure as always to listen to Paul's badminton coverage live throughout day six. And all week here in Huelva, we're at the Palacio de Deportes, or better known as the Carolina Marin Sports Palace, for all the action on quarter-finals day. 
of the 2021 Total Energies BWF World Championships. I'm Bobby Griffin and introducing the next match on court number two, another all 